peace and blessing what's up you guys um today i'm gonna be reading a short verse well a couple verses from second chronicles chapter 20 from 1 to 9 um, and this is about um the Ammonites and and the um Hazazan Tamar and the Syria and Syria. So okay, let me post it on the screen so you can Okay, follow. so I'm reading from Second Chronicles chapter twenty from one to nine. Okay, let's go. It came to pass after this it came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of the of Ammon and with them the others beside the Ammonites came against Josaphat Josaphat to battle then there came some that told Josaphat saying there cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on the on this side Syria and behold, they they be the Hazarzan Tamar, Hazarzan Tamar, which is Enged, Engedi. And Josaphat feared and sought himself to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast throughout all Judea. So he realized there was a great multitude coming up against him. So he decided to seek the Lord, which is a very good move. Okay, verse three. Let's go. And Josaphat feared and sat to, and Josaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judea, and Judea and Judah. I said Judea. Um, it's actually Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord even out of all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord and Josaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court so he, he went through the whole Jude, Judah and gather themselves to do a fast because a great battle was upon them and all the everybody important in Judah was involved and said the Lord O God our fathers art though the God in heaven so verse 6 it said and said O Lord God of our fathers art not though God in heaven so he's trying to get an answer from God okay so he said and said O Lord God of our fathers aren't though the God of in heaven and rulest not though over all the kingdoms of the Eden and in thine hand is there not power and might so that none is able to withstand thee art not though our god art not though our god who did drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people israel and give us it to the seed of abraham thy friend forever and they dwell therein and have built the a sanctuary therein for thy name saying if when evil cometh upon us as a sword judging if when evil cometh upon us as a sword judgment or pestilence or famine we would we stand before this house in thy presence for thy name is in this house and cry unto thee in our affliction then thou wilt hear us 
here and help. I'm going to read one more, verse 10. And now, behold, the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, whom thou wouldest not let Israel in, invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. So, we did the same thing as Akaya did. So basically, he had to, there was a great multitude of people against him that wanted to battle. And just by him going to God and reaching out to God and him and his, his tribes, and they all fast and they all was just crying out to God and God hear their prayer and turn away the guys them that came to destroy them. So they didn't even destroy them. So you see how powerful God is? Like, he should be involved in everything we do. Period. No ifs, no buts, no maybe. God is amazing. And he's a big God. If we was to put God in everything, like, you will conquer so as long as you're sincere it's good to like put him in everything we do and just be grateful that god is on our side because i, I ain't gonna lie to you fellas without god without i ain't gonna lie to you brothers and sisters but without god honestly between me and you guys i don't even know where i would be right now if I would be making the right de decisions, if, if I would be in the right state of mind. It's like, <clears throat> God is so amazing. Like, it's hard not to, to give credit where credit is due. I big him up so much because I am a living testimony of what God could do from what I've been through and where I was heading and how my life just made one big U-turn and everything started to happen in in my favor. Thank God for Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus. Um, I hope this word was a blessing to you guys. And the moral for this lesson, if you don't remember anything I said, remember this one thing. Put God first and put God in everything you do. It's good to fast. You don't have to go so hard right now. You could start doing, making little baby steps. When you get a chance, it actually, it works. It definitely works. And I hope this word was a blessing. Be sure to share, like, subscribe. And I love you guys, and I'll see you again in the next video. Hopefully you enjoy this word, and it was a blessing to you and your life and your family. You could share it too. Thank you. Peace.